for a pair of the Super 7s I've built up. I've opted for this uh, configuration instead, where I have a one-to-one -one gear. They actually come in in sets so that you have uh, one small and one big gear. But I've just bought uh, two sets and then used the larger wheels instead. So this, in this way they have one to two uh, ratio, but now I have one to one ratio. Um, this allows of course now also the possibility for me to disconnect this physically by just uh, undoing the set screws quite easily. But as I said on the set axis, uh, it's not, not any really uh, regard i mean the, there's not much of a nuisance having that extra resistance but anyway that's another type uh, of uh, mounting where you can uh, close up and let's say get rid of the motor altogether inside here because as you can see it all fits snugly inside here so just the wires coming out and then you can have your your driver uh, i guess uh, actually inside if you want to but there will not be room for a, that i think because you have the um, you will have to have the the encoder here also on a one-to-one -one connection but anyway snugly in there a third way i thought of mounting it uh, resembling the one on the ml10 is the way i've done here namely to mount it um on a one-to-one -one, uh, also then connection being able to drive uh, it close to the uh, bushing here and this is quite this is actually two bushings or two branch bearings inside here should um, not make it necessary in my eyes to use any extra ball bearings but anyway but this is actually I could maybe move it uh, a couple of uh, maybe 15 millimeters more to the left but this becomes of course a little bit maybe too close now I have uh, 20 centimeters no uh, millimeters in here so maybe if I had stopped the cross slide in that position or the, the saddle then I could operate it even now a little bit further but still it's a little bit close in my eyes um but possible i mean it's not really uh, stopping you in any way having it mounted like that because this would mean that you could use uh, this amount this as normal and don't need an extra consideration but if you on the other hand would want to have it either uh, this way but flipped around it would need some kind of modification to the case here or if i made it like i did on the on the other one which you will see then that i have it in direct line and then uh, i made a hole uh, or I, I drilled a hole in the um, in the cover to, to fit the motor it's also a possibility of course but this uh, this funny thing here is i'm uh, if you see, look closely i turned the, the, the bearing adapter or the piece here to the other side so it mounts and i can use this plate directly mounted to the holes here on the right side this is flipped around normally to mount the gears of course uh, inside the the cover but at least there's a possibility to do it like that but then the <clears throat> most uh, often encountered I think is the mounting here using um, just a belt drive over and then mounting the motor on the rear at the rear here not a big problem I think but as I said um, this being the the smaller of the bushes and then a sideways uh, force I'd like to have a bearing there extra I guess so I could make a plate there and uh, just extend this a little bit with a then a plate and then over here that would be also possible to have everything here on that side uh, but and this is what i guess most people have done either 
uh, if they have done a stepper motor uh, update or CNC in, in some way or just the normal whatever DC motor let's say um, windscreen wiper motor so I ended up anyway with um, moving it around so that instead of having the motor that way and protruding a little bit too far this way I switched to this orientation but then figured out that I had to have a a bearing here so therefore I made this this bracket because of the constraint here so merely placed to the diameter here I had to well it won't win any beauty contests, that's for sure, but it does the job. So then on to here, so to speak, and then in here. So this is my solution. Uh, as I said, won't win any beauty contests, but uh, <clears throat> anyway. Now you have control like that, and that also gives you room here to operate, so that uh, this is not in any way in the way. So final product. Very little resistance, so that uh, should be a good placement and solution, I think, with a bearing there also.